as we welcome you back to the Cricket Show, the beautiful scenes of the Barossa Valley, a world away from the hustle and bustle and heat of Madras back in 1986, or Chennai as it's now known. But that's what we're doing here today at the Chateau Tananda. We're marking the 21st anniversary of the famous Tide Test back in 86. The two umpires from the Tide Test had flown out from India. Greg Matthews and Ray Bright took 17 wickets between them in that test. Also there, the man who had the best seat in the house as 12th man for those five fateful days, Dave Gilbert. They were the most oppressive conditions I can ever remember and um, you know, I just found myself running errands onto the field every, it seemed like every bloody 30 seconds because uh, you know, Dean Jones, for example, who batted probably the most courageous innings I've ever seen on a cricket field. And I think it changed a lot of people's perceptions about Jonesy. Um, to see someone guts it out like he did for nearly two days was something special. So, look, great memories and, um, you know, it, it's, it's in the history books. It is etched in history, all right. Only the second ever tied test, Jones hospitalised after his courageous 210. A brilliant century from the great Kapil Dev. There were antics, a few arguments, and one of the most controversial decisions in the history of cricket. It's a tie. The match has ended in a tie. It's an unbelievable result. History has been made here at the Chudambaram Stadium at Chepok. To this day, the cricketing world is split on whether Meninder Singh edged the ball before being given out LBW to make it a tie. At the time, um, to me, you know, it was out. I mean, it was sort of spun back in. Menendez right in front of his stumps, and, and you know, up it goes. But you know, as as it unfolded during the evening, um, Alan Border said, "Well, oh, I think he got an inside edge onto his pads." And uh, but you know, that's cricket, isn't it? The bowler, Greg Matthews, needs no convincing. And I thought the guy was salmon trout. Didn't hit it. No, no, I don't think so. Oh, but you know, I believe that. 100% that he didn't hit it, no. Two decades hasn't changed the mind of umpire Vikram Raju either. I was confident he is out. That much I can tell you, even today. Ray Bright has his own interesting take on the whole affair. Well, you can say yes or you can say no, but uh, we probably got about 30 wickets for the game and India probably got about 12. So uh, as it turned out, it probably uh, a tie might have been the best result considering all things. Former Indian Test player Vinod Kambli delighted the Barossa crowd with some great stroke play. He remembers the Tied Test as a boy in Bombay. We were watching it and uh, it was brilliant. The game was so close and uh, like a school kid I was watching the match and till the end and thanks to the umpires. <laughs> Whatever happened in that subcontinental swelter in 1986, it is perfect fodder for one of cricket's treasured pastimes reminiscing, particularly at a carnival match involving past players. Cricket, I think cricket has a uh, lot more history, a lot more anecdotes than any other sport. Because it's played over a longish period and you tend to interact with the opposition a lot more, socialise a lot more. The game also has a habit of looking after its own. The match was all about the David Hooks Foundation and raising awareness for organ donation. One of the players on the day, Sri Lankan Asanka Gurusina, has been the recipient of a cornea transplant. You could have lost your eyesight had you not had the transplant. Well, my eye was pretty bad and that's, that's where I came and my contact lenses were not fitting properly so the surgeons at the end had to tell me this is their last option and uh, it is, I could have. The guru was grateful just to be playing. He was also happy to weigh in on the great debate. Did umpire Vikram Raju get it right in the Tide Test? It was a big story with uh, Dean Jones going to hospital uh, and all of that, and the Tide Test, and we were a bit surprised that the Indian umpires gave LBW at that time of the day. And I actually asked him today, I said, <laughs> were you 100% sure? <laughs> what did he say? Uh, he was laughing, but yeah, it was a something you don't expect in test cricket these days and most probably it will take another long time to happen. It's a tie! 
Well, some fantastic memories, and what a place to uh, recollect those memories. Shadow to under a great setting there in South Australia. Tim Gilbert brings us that story, that footage. Absolutely fascinating, that last wicket. You sort of forget in the passage of time, you think, wow, that, that controversial had everything. I believe also there was a bit of trouble with the scorers. They weren't sh exactly sure who'd won or who'd lost, whether it was a tie or not. But as you say, shout out to Nanda, great place to go. The Barossa is a great place to go. You not won't be going there to play cricket. Not necessarily to play cricket, no. no. Not, <laughs> love, love going there, though. OK, go and have some lunch. Thanks for being with us today. OK, time for a break on the cricket show. And uh, as we go to the break, the lunchtime grill. He's a star, Adam Gilchrist. <laughs> Backyard cricket, my greatest memory.